Awesome. All right, good afternoon. Now, before we get started, tell me how to pronounce your first name. It's Haido, but everyone calls me Jerry, so you can just call me Jerry. All right, perfect. All right, Jerry. Well, nice to meet you. I've got your resume here in front of me. You've got a fantastic background. So I'm going to let you start. What have you been doing most recently for work? So most recently, I've been an um, assistant GM at Old Navy. I started with them back in, I think, 2019. I've been with them for almost three years now. Um, I am at one of the top volume stores in Orlando. It's the second highest volume store in the district. Okay. I'm do a lot of like the merchandising, a lot of like the coaching and developing associates, just driving results. Um, a little bit of recruiting with them, not as much as I, as I was doing with Express, but a little bit of recruiting there as well. Okay, great. Yeah. How many folks are reporting to you on average right now? How many what? How many people report to you right now on oh, average? Uh, right now we have 35, 35 um, associates for uh, three leaders. Um, and then I would be the fourth leader in the building. Okay, great. I see that you also have some experience with the reporting side of things and the metrics and customer surveys. Tell me a little bit about that and what the reporting looks like. Yeah, so with both Express and Old Navy, the, they have surveys at the bottom of the receipts. They go online, they fill out the surveys. Um, with Old Navy, they, we go off of NPS, which is like Net Promoter System yeah. uh, score. And um, the Net Promoter score is like the likelihood that a customer is going to um, promote your store to a front, like if they would recommend it. Okay. Um, so we use that a lot. We also go off of our fitting room and cash wrap score, store cleanliness, a lot of like the stuff that's based around the customer experience. Fantastic. Yeah. Why are you looking to make a move at this point in your career? I just want to find a different career that's not in traditional retail or just retail in general. Yep. Um, so, you know, I've, I've acquired a lot of skills and I've gained a lot of experience over the years. And I'm just looking for something different. You know, I feel like it's that time where I just need to step out, explore something new, whether it's starting from the ground up and just building my career in there. It's totally fine, totally cool. I've done it before. I can do it again. Absolutely. You know, or, you know, if I could step right into a management role, that would be awesome too. Beautiful. And I love that you've got longevity with both of your employers. Now, is Express and Old Navy, are they one of the companies that they are owned by the same or no? No, they're completely different. So okay. Express is standalone. Old Navy is part of the Gap family. Gotcha. Okay. And then you were with Express from 2006 to 2019. Yeah. Obviously, fantastic longevity there. Um, now, you did mention that you did some recruiting when you were Express. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. So with Express, I would often recruit off of the sales floor, which was like super easy, super fun. Um, we started using an applicant tracker. Uh, when was that? 2020. We, we, they rolled out with it fairly late. Um, I want to say it was like 2012, 2013. Um, so I had some experience with that, just gaining associates through through that realm. Um, I didn't really start playing around with it till my last two years with Express. Okay. We were seeing a store. At that point, we had another manager, a co-manager, who would do a lot of the hiring and stuff at every store that I was working at. Um, but then when I stepped into like the store manager role, that's when I got my hands into it and I got to play around with it and build my own teams and stuff, which which I loved. You know, I loved finding that raw talent, getting them in, or helping associates grow into leadership roles, just like really developing associates was one of my things that I really became passionate about and just finding that talent, just, just working with people. And I feel like with old Navy, I just haven't really done that as much. I've gotten my hands in there a little bit, but not as much as I, I did with express. And I think that's one thing that I miss. I just, can tell you you're a people person. You like working with people. Yeah, I do. I do. And I miss it. You know, I want to do more than just sell clothing. Like I want to like find it. I feel like I would find so much more fulfillment and just getting people into the, the right jobs, helping businesses simultaneously, helping them find like that raw talent that they need to help their business. And it's just like the best of both worlds. Like I'm helping a business. I'm also helping an individual. And just, I, I would just get a lot of satisfaction out of that, you know? Fantastic. What type of notice do you give to your current employer? Is it two weeks or 30 days where you're at right now? Two weeks. Two weeks. Beautiful. Be yep. What do you need to make to consider a position? Say that one more time. What do you need to make to consider a position? Oh, so... I, I don't know what you guys offer. What I'm making right now is 30 an hour plus okay. bonuses and overtime. So I, I'm making like my base is about 64, but okay. with my um, bonuses and overtime, I easily hit like 73, 74 a year. Uh, I know with like entry level, it's probably not going to be at that same level. I know I have to probably start all over and work my way up. So I'm, I know I'm probably gonna have to take a pay cut. Um, but what, what do you guys start out? How do you? How do well, so you're, so you're talking to an agency. So we represent so many different types of companies. Everyone's got different salary ranges. I mean, you applied to one. So, but we, that's not our only recruiting position that we have open currently. 
it's not a trick question by any means when we're talking about pay, but I'm, I can't say what a certain position is offering because we're not quite at that stage yet. I just want to okay. learn a little bit more about you and, you know, your background first. So you are, you do part of the recruiting. You obviously train, you develop. What about the onboarding processes? Are oh, you yeah. sending that off to the HR um, like at corporate for them to do their actual onboarding paperwork and like I-9s and things like that? Or do you guys handle that in store? We handle that in store. Um, with Old Navy, like I said, I don't get I don't get my hands on that too much because we have a manager specifically for that. But yep. with the class, I did a lot of the onboarding, like literally from start to finish, from digging through applications or just recruiting from the sales floor to doing the interview process to doing the onboarding and training. Like I had my hands in basically every stage of the hiring process. Um, with so old on average, how many folks would you say you were onboarding and hiring per week? Per week, um, let's see, I could easily do, depending on the time of year, so obviously seasonal was definitely more, I could easily do like five or six per week, um, depending on how fast we needed to hire, you know, like as we get closer to Black Friday, I would have to hire more, hire faster, um, and then get all the onboarding in a lot quicker. Absolutely. Um, it just depends on, on the store volume, like how much, how many associates we're allowed to have or what our goal was. Okay. And people I could get in through the door as well. And how are you finding those candidates? I know you mentioned that you had like an applicant system like where folks would go in and apply probably on your website. But in addition to that, how else were you finding these folks? Yeah, so through the sales force. So I often felt like the best associates were the customers. So customers that already liked coming in and spending their money um, in our store. You know, I'd tell them like, hey, you're awesome. You're super sweet. We get along really well. Like, have you ever thought about working here? We're hiring for holiday. We're hiring for, for summer, you know, and just kind of recruiting that way. I know it's more like in your face recruiting, and probably a little different from what I would be doing with you guys. Yeah. But I, know I can translate those skills easily to like over the phone or texting or email as well, you know. Okay, fantastic. Jerry, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the recording and chat with you a little bit more if that sounds good. Yeah, absolutely. Of course.